Hi everyone, welcome in a new episode of Steven's Week, your weekly update on marketing and technology. Welcome in the new show, my friends. Waimu is uh, starting with a driverless truck uh, program. You know, Waimu is uh, known for their fully autonomous car sharing service that they have now in, uh, in the States. And they're using that learning and that data to actually start now with a project for driverless trucks. It's gonna start in Atlanta, and this is gonna be a new step for this daughter of Google, Waimu. Uh, as you know, uh, smart assistants are really popular. Uh, you, you, you see them everywhere. Uh, people talk about them all the time. There's news about Alexa and Google Home every week. Uh, but now there's a new major shift. Uh, you, you see that uh, we're, we're starting to see more and more applications for the business world. So more and more people are using smart assistants in their office as an assistant. I mean, if you have to make an invoice and you have to make it in dollars, but your world is in euros, you don't look it up anymore. You just ask it to Alexa or to Google to um, make that calculation for you. And, and many more applications will come. I, I, can, I can believe that pretty soon. Uh, companies in B2B will start to use voice assistants to offer customer service to their clients. I mean, for, for most companies, 80% of the questions that you get from a client are like the, the same ones. Eh? And it's only 20% that really need some thinking, but 80% of the questions that you get are just standardized answers that you need to provide. Well, for those 80%, smart assistants like Amazon and Google, uh, they, they can be a fantastic help so that people that are working in B2B, they don't have to look it up anymore, they don't need to call, they just shout it out and they get the feedback on one of their questions. So this is something you're starting to see that voice assistants are moving into the more professional B2B world. There was an interesting news item from uh, Reuters this week, the, the big international press agency, and they are starting to use an AI tool that is helping journalists to better do some fact checking so that they can see if it's fake news or real news, which is a crucial element in this world of AI. Uh, but this AI can also suggest stories to journalists and it can write some automated stories. So it's a fantastic example of how artificial intelligence is entering the newsroom and how it's actually augmenting journalism, uh, augmenting the intelligence of journalists to, to make sure that they can deliver better quality articles and to make sure that they can make sure that what they write is correct. So I thought this was interesting and I, I would assume that we're going to see this more and more in other newsrooms pretty soon as well. Pre-ordering food if you go to a fast service restaurant is booming. There was an increase last year of 50% of people that pre-order food before they go to a convenient restaurant. And uh, this, of course, is to boost the convenience levels of these uh, guests, because if you order up front, you don't have to wait in line. You can just pick up your stuff. You don't need to pay. It's paid automatically through the app. And in the US now, 10% of all mobile, of all um, orders in fast food restaurants are now through pre-order. So you see how, well, you know what I always say, right? Convenience is new loyalty. You see how it's moving from industry to industry. And again, this is one of the trends now in pre-ordering food where you can see that it's being confirmed. There's a really cool B2B example this week, and it's actually coming from Belgium from a company called Atlas Copco. And they have now exoskeletons and the people that work in their warehouses can, uh, can use them. And this, this enables people to, to lift up packages that can you know, weigh up to 100 kilos. Um, they're gonna have a, a lot of those suits and they're pretty expensive. It's 30,000 euros per active exoskeleton suit for their employees. But this is safer for the employees. And of course, it's also very effective that those people can now lift up things that, that weigh up to 100 kilos. So I thought that was really cool what they're doing. Time for the weekly Amazon rumor. This week, it's about the possible launch of Amazon in the Nordics that they would start in Sweden uh, pretty soon and that they will definitely be live before Black Friday. And this is a, a new step. If this would be true, it's a new step. And I've been saying this for the last few months. I have the feeling that Europe is being colonized by e-commerce players and you have a battle between the Chinese players like JD and... Um, AliExpress and then Amazon and we are not colonized yet by them but they're placing their pieces on the table and this rumor really fits into that story now. So guys this was my weekly update I hope you enjoyed it uh, feel free to share these messages with your friends and uh, I hope to see you again next week have fun have a great day and thanks for watching this episode bye bye